Welcome. My name is Natasha Sherman, and I am your host. And my guest today is Siobhan Hutchinson. And Siobhan is a holistic health practitioner. She's here today to give us tips and tools for de-stressing and for leading a healthy lifestyle. Welcome, Siobhan. Thank you, Natasha. It's good to be here. Yes, so uh, tell me a little, you know, a holistic health practitioner, mm -hmm. everybody has a different version of what that looks like. Exactly. So what do you do? Yes, well, holistic health, the word holistic means whole, to come back to wholeness. It's looking at each person as mind, body, and spirit rather than looking at their disease. So if someone comes to a holistic health practitioner, they're not going to just center on the heart if the heart has a problem or the kidney. They're going to ask um, the client other questions. What do they eat? What is their lifestyle like? How do they feel? Because we're mind, body, and spirit. That really was the ancient way of practicing medicine. It's only been in the recent, I would say maybe perhaps the last 200 years or so, that we've become so centered on the organ and the disease and the sure. person. One doctor treats one body part. Yes, it's cookie cutter medicine. Mm. So more and more people are looking for self-empowerment tools to help themselves uh, get better. And um, I guess in the early 1990s, I had the opportunity to meet um, Dr. Hunter Adams, who's also known as Patch Adams. Oh, yes. And he's not quite what you would expect from the movie. He is a very joyful person, but he's, he's very complex. At, and please, I've only met him for a couple of moments, but that was the impression. But one of the um, people in the audience was a woman who was complaining how during the weekend everybody in the healthcare system had, had let her down. She couldn't get her medications over the weekend, the pharmacist wasn't available to her, the doctor wasn't available to her, um, no one was there for her. And Patch took a pause and I never forgot he looked her straight in the eye and said to her, but what are you doing to help yourself? That's great, that's really great. You know, uh, I, I'm going to interject something here. Um, this is not about vilifying the medical profession. No. This is not even about vilifying the way it is now. There are things in any system that are useful and not so useful. And there are things that could really be corrected and altered. But the key to what you're saying is we have given over all of our power and our decision-making process to our medical professional. and what happens is when something breaks down, we look at it as their failure mm -hmm. or the body's failure, but we forget to ask ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, and empower ourselves. There mm -hmm. are things I could be doing. There's research I could be doing. There's holistic, mm -hmm. alternative. Um, and so it really is so key and so important for people to actually take back their power and say, okay, I'm an active participant in this mm -hmm. game of well-being, and I will listen to what they have to say, and I will do my own research, mm -hmm. and I will make my own choices. But that was a great thing because, like, you know, it, when nobody's around on the weekend, puts you in the victim uh, right. pose. And that's all I think at that time he heard her saying yeah. was the other person. And I'd like to just address two things. One, I think sometimes um, because of the history, which would be a whole other conversation altogether, that the body as a machine, treating the body as individual parts rather than the whole. But I'd like to clarify that my background has been um, not as a clinician, but as in medical sales. So I really came from a foundation of medical sales and I truly appreciate uh, you know, the combination of, of both, the Western medicine and yes. um, the alternative. So it is not to point fingers, it's to combine, to integrate. And that's where medicine seems to be heading at this point, is integrative medicine. Right. 
stress right now in this country, um, you know, the statistics are, it's a big range, but the Mayo Clinic has stated that 60 to 90 percent of all illnesses they believe is stress related or caused by stress. And I think that's some of the problem we're seeing now. We're talking a lot about obesity, heart disease, insomnia, depression. These are common things we're hearing every day now. They could be all stress related. These are all increases due to uh, stress relate. Um, Dr. Mehmet Oz, who everybody knows from uh, the Oprah Winfrey show and his own show, has said in his books that he believes that 70% of how well we live and how long we live is determined by us. Yeah. So by making life It's lifestyle, the good news and the bad news. <laughs> yes. Yes, and a lot of people are probably thinking, I don't know where to begin. You know, so there's some simple techniques I could show you today that we could do at home. We, we don't need to invest. To reduce stress, to do what? Absolutely. Um, to, I'm a big on energy medicine. I do a number of different practices. I teach seniors and beginners how to de-stress naturally through something called Tai Chi Cha, which is a form of Tai Chi. Um, its subtitle is Joy Through Movement. It's like a moving meditation. Um, it's great for beginners and seniors. You can uh, teach it standing or seated. It gives you balance, not only physical balance, but balance inside, and it quiets the mind. But for those of us that have struggled with meditation and sitting still, this is a movement of meditation, which is just wonderful. I also practice energy medicine, and that- So say what energy yes. medicine is. Well, I was just pausing because energy medicine really uh, could cover many, many modalities. So rather than, than kind of go off on different spurs, um, I focus on Reiki and also Donna Eden's energy um, medicine. I've just uh, completed her two-year certification um, program, and I have to say it was more intense than grad school. Really? Uh, it was more intense, yes. Um, In what way? Well, um, I had a working knowledge of what a meridian is and uh -huh. what a chakra is, and I went to Donna Eden, and I was humbled. Uh, <laughs> I almost felt like I was going to acupuncture uh, school. Now, this may sound intimidating, but a lot of her techniques are very, very simple. It's just that they had a short period of time to throw everything at us at once. So basically, according to Donna, we have nine energy systems in our body. And when one of the energy systems or a part of an energy system becomes unbalanced, it's like a domino effect. It affects everything else. So what I thought we could do today was to see how we could simply uh, revitalize ourselves to rebalance the I'm energy. I'm always ready okay. to revitalize. I just want to mention something for people who might be interested. You know, I, I'm familiar with Donna Eden yes. to the extent of, uh, you know, reading about her, getting a newsletter yes. from her. Uh, I have clients who practice energy medicine. Um, so w she has this on YouTube, the five-minute yes. energy routine. And I'm going to teach you part of it today. That's great because it is so powerful. It is very powerful. And for those that are suspect, all I would say is any of these practices, they're they have to be experienced. They're yeah. experiential. You can't just read the book, talk about it, discuss it, but the theory behind most of Donna's work is traditional Chinese medicine and indigenous uh, cultural. They've been doing this for thousands of years, and I feel, you know, it's economical, it's self-empowering, and it's easy to do. So I would like you to think, uh, it's about this time of the day right, right. now, where we might have had um, a nice lunch. It's rather hot outside. Right. And we get that lull at the end of the day, okay? Mm -hmm. We start to feel a little like, oh, I could use a, a nap. Laggy. I can't wait for work to end. Yeah. I need to get home. Um, we get that lull in the day. So Donna says, you don't want to re replace sleep. This, this is only for like a quick pick-me-up 
without reaching for the caffeine or the candy bar, right. okay? So what we're gonna do is call the, the four thumps. It was originally called the three thumps, but she uh, just recently added a new thump. A new thump. A new thump, so I'm gonna teach you that today. Okay. So th this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna find our collarbone, find okay. your collarbone, okay? And the collarbone, you'll feel two little bumps at the end, right in front of the throat. These little bony the protrusions. The little bony protrusions, okay? Yes. Now you wanna go with your fingertips about an inch below the bony part, mm -hmm. and your chest sort of flattens. You'll feel like a little bit of a plateau there. Mm -hmm. And you wanna mas massage deeply, and you can tap on that point if you wanna tap, but you can massage deeply with your fingertips, not your fingernails, of course, and this really is the end of your kidney meridian. Your kidney meridian runs from the bottom of your feet all the way up to this point. So this is not just about impacting the kidney. It's called the kidney meridian exactly. because it runs through the kidney. Thank you for clarifying yeah. that because sometimes when we talk like this, people go, oh my goodness, something's wrong with my kidney. Yeah. No, we're just talking about an energy pathway. So right. if this is a little sore. And I sore, want to ask you, yes. The soreness, yes. don't get afraid. No, no, all it means, because every day we change. I could wake up one day and this point is perfectly fine and the next day I touch it and it might be sore. I might have overdone it the night before, but this is massaging, helps to rebalance it, okay? Okay. So this is good And how long would you tell people to do this? They say, I believe, like 15 to 20 seconds, oh. but you know what I tell everybody? Do what your heart feels. I mean, if you enjoy, do it for a couple yeah. of minutes, okay? It's not gonna hurt you. Now, my next favorite part, now I've renamed it, so I hope if Donna's listening, <laughs> she doesn't get too upset. But you connect your fingers, and you go about another inch below on the top of your chest, and this is your thymus, and you're gonna th thump your thymus, but I say to everybody, it's the Tarzan thump. Remember the Tarzan oh, yes. movies? Ah! And you really want to get do that. It with your fingers, yes, right? your four fingers, and you really want to well, thump so you get that. Really ah! Uh, and <laughs> what you're saying to the thymus is, wake up! I need you. I need you to right. help me with immunity. So, uh, one time um, in class, uh, in a Tai Chi class, I had mentioned to the students that if you thump your thymus throughout the day, it helps boost your immunity levels, but if you're starting to get a cold, right at the nip of the cold, when you get that funny tickle on the back of your throat, start tapping throughout the day. It'll help uh, alleviate some of the symptoms. Well, lo and behold, two of the students actually listened to me and started thumping, and they told me the next day, I started to get that tickle on the back of my throat, I could feel the cold coming on, and it kicked it right out. Wow. So none of this I can guarantee, okay? We, yes. we, we, I, I don't diagnose yes. and I don't guarantee <laughs> results, but all I'm saying, this it's is the way, it's cheap. It's, it, you're not gonna hurt yourself to do this. You're not gonna hurt but, yourself. But think of Tarzan. You're, yeah. you're giving yourself some Tarzan boost energy. and, right, right. <laughs> now the next point, um, it's a little, how would you say, a little bit of a, of a private point, but we're, we're gonna do this delicately, okay? <laughs> we go straight down the breast line, okay. and for women it's easier to find. It's where your bra line ends underneath, yes. and you go like one rib below the bra line, and you massage deeply in there. Now this is That's a spleen. That's a sensitive area. Now, many people say that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Tell me why. Okay, spleen, <laughs> the spleen meridian is considered the mother, the mothering of all the meridians. So each meridian has its opposite. And we have something in our body called the triple warmer meridian. And I want you to think of it as your fight or flight response, okay? That's that knee jerk reaction. And it could be um, to stress, you start to feel anxious, or it's your sentry. Think of it like the guard on the wall with, with the gun ready to, to fight the, you know, we used to have a, a, a tiger attacking us. Now it could be a boss that's yelling at us and we get in this fight <laughs> right. or flight response. The uh, spleen meridian, when it's in balance and, and, and very energ energized, it's saying to Triple Warmer, thank you for being my sentry. Thank you for guarding the wall for me. But you know what? 
you can put down your gun today because mom is here. I've made you some chicken soup, and <laughs> all is right in the world. And all of that is right all here. All of that is right there. <laughs> uh, there's another point also for spleen, but that's one of the easiest and uh, main points to do. And the fourth thump that Donna um, uh, did is right underneath the pupils, straight underneath the pupils, uh, right below the cheekbone. Just tap on the cheekbone or right below, and that's a stomach, a stomach point. And she says to do that now. And, uh, okay. So uh, let me repeat, these, these four thumps are to help you if you start feeling a little tired. It doesn't replace sleep, but it's great for that afternoon lull. It's great to do first thing in the morning to reset your, your energies so that they're flowing well. And also, um, if you drive a lot, I drive a lot, and I would suggest you pull over, and I've done this a couple of times. And start thumping. Pull over and start thumping. Or if you're at a long traffic light, if you don't <laughs> mind the person in the next car <laughs> looking at you, you're thumping away, you know? <laughs> right. Okay. So the, four, so the one just below the collarbone, Yes. You can rub or yes. thump. Yes, rub or what? thump. And sometimes um, for people that are uh, delicately boned or you yes. don't have a lot of Probably strength in your, in, in your thumb, one of the uh, senior practitioners uh, who's built very much like me said, Siobhan, use your knuckles. Really get in there. Oh. Because when you're on stage with Donna, although John, Donna is the most giving, loving, gentle person on earth, when she touches you, you, you jump out of your skin. Wow. So you really want to go firmly. You don't want to hurt yourself, right. but you want to go firmly So in you there. want the body to recognize that something's yes. happening. You want yes. to make the connection. Yes. Now, I would like to just step back for a moment, but with people that have autoimmune um, challenges, maybe they have uh, lupus or fibromyalgia, we, we work more slowly with them so that the triple warmer, that sentry guard, doesn't immediately get like, oh my goodness, what's happening now? So we gradually go deeper and deeper. And so... Um, so you could start gently yes. and then work your way in and then yes, work, go a little up. deeper. That's what energy medicine is all about, is strengthening and building up your energies and balancing them. So someone at any point during the day could do the four thumps to rev themselves up and give themselves some yes. natural energy. Yes. I'd like to teach you a couple more things, yes. if I, I may. One is to help dizziness, and one is just to soothe and calm. I want you to think of this. Uh, perhaps there's a child who's having a temp temper tantrum, oh, yes, and they're out, of, <laughs> they're out of control. <laughs> yes. Or perhaps there's a friend in your life that comes to you, and they're just sobbing so much that you, you can barely understand what, what the upset is about. So what we're going to do is, uh, you had spoken earlier, you knew about this, the oh my God points. Um, yes. And a lot of this, again, is from uh, traditional Chinese medicine or indigenous cultures, but I'm sure a couple of us can remember grandma or maybe our mothers or our grandfather, we, we rush in, oh, oh my goodness, there's a fire down the block or I crashed the car and they go, oh my God, you know, it's that slapping right. the point. So can I get up and, and yes, touch please. you? And, okay, great. So I'm just going to sure. delicately, okay. thank you. So what I'm going to do, I always ask a person if I can touch them first. And I'm going to pull away your hair. And as long oh as... Oh, my God, you're pulling away my hair. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're... It doesn't matter which hand you use, but as long as um, the uh, top uh, finger is on the hairline. So I'm covering your whole forehead, correct? Mm -hmm. And then right where the head curves in the back, right where mm -hmm. the curvature, I'm just holding and breathe. I always forget to tell people to breathe and they hold their breath. And I just ask the person, um, may I touch you, may I hold these points, and just breathe naturally. Now, just imagine you have a, a child who's having a temper tantrum and, and, and you're trying to hold on to these yeah. points and telling them to breathe. Just be with them, and for at least three minutes, okay, sometimes it may take uh, three minutes or longer, they'll start to calm down, and the emotional sting of the situation um, will dissipate. So they're able to tell you the story of the up upset and calm down. Can you do it for yourself? Absolutely. That's the great thing about energy medicine. 
I do tell every... That felt good, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and that was just a short, you know, because right so now you're I fairly calm. what I would do is put my hand on my forehead yes. with the top finger in yes. uh, uh, the hairline. Yes. And just where it's crowning yes. and curving. Yes. And you just hold it. Yes. And I, I do want to tell you, with energy medicine, although you can do it to yourself, okay, it's much more effective when you work with another person. Working another person's energy is working with you. Right. Now, um, I'm going to use my mother as an example, and I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. <laughs> but, you know, I think a lot of people can relate to this. Um, sometimes people have a running tape in their head. And even though it's all calm, <laughs> even though it's all calm on the Western Front, when they start to go to bed, that tape goes off. What do I have to do tomorrow? Or they worry. They w worry about yeah, every little all the bad thing. things that could happen or did happen or... And it starts rising up, and then they say, you know, I, can't, I, I just can't sleep well. So I want you to picture yourself. You're in bed. You're on your side, and you're holding these points, and you're putting the head on the pillow like this, this, and it helps to calm down, and you'll drift off to sleep. And so this little, is also useful for insomnia. Yes. So it's a little, you know, turning off the tape. It's a little awkward, <laughs> but just imagine I'm not on a pillow. I'm not on bed right now, but right. That, that's something that you can do. Or before you start to fall asleep, just take a few seconds. Um, this is something else I told my mother to do. Um, this is very safe to do. But if you can get some lavender essential oil. I was just going to ask you about that. Yes. I have lavender essential oil next to my bedside. Wonderful. And I'm, I'm going to caution because there might be somebody out there that's, you know, I have to be very careful with aromatherapy. You don't want to ever get it near your eye, okay? Right. So what you do is you place a drop in the palm and just dot by the temple, not near the eye, but just by the t temple, little dot here, little dot here underneath the nose because with essential oils although it absorbs in the skin it reaches your limbic system through the nose the sensory system in through your brain quicker if you put it if you breathe it you inhale it you'll get the uh, wonderful effects of it quicker than just applying it on the skin so I said put a little bit here so I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. because uh, I want to clarify yes this is not the same as the stuff they advertise on television, spewing chemical smells of oh, lavender. Oh no, 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 no! Air. This is flower essence. This yes. is this is you true to, medicinal so, quality. Yes. So you're telling people to get the real deal. Get the real deal. Go to your local health food store. Um, I always try to make friends with the the professional, the person in the know, and um, there are different brands of essential oils and different grades. So although I don't want to put a plug on TV, there are a couple of reputable companies that you can order from, and people can contact me, and I could help uh, direct them to those reputable so, companies. So uh, I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. who you would recommend, and it's just you recommending yes. it. Yes. So would Young Living be one of them? Um, Young Living is one of the more popular uh, brands right, right. now. but. Uh, I, ju I just wanted to finish, and I'll step back and answer okay. your question. Also put some on the nape of your uh, okay. neck, okay? And then you sit back, and I promise you, you'll, you'll be in uh, la-la land very quickly. I remember when mm -hmm. my kids were young, if they had headaches, I would yes. give them peppermint oil, and they would oh. put a little here and at the back of the right. neck. And can you imagine if you did the oh my god points mm. and along with it and yes. had your hands? So, one of my favorite essential oil uh, companies is called Wisdom of the Earth. Oh. They're located in Sedona. Mm -hmm. And um, now I know if there's some people out there that do essential oils, it's just like Tai G. Um, we each have our different schools. Yes, absolutely. Uh, people tend to get a little territorial and defensive on, <laughs> yes. on how they approach um, aromatherapy. And I said, you know, uh, be open. Yes. Be open. So, so wisdom of the earth. Wisdom of the earth does not have blends. They don't believe in blending the oils. What they do is something called layering, which you actually layer the oils on your skin rather than having a blend of different oils. It's a different approach. <laughs> okay. And um, would you is like there anybody else? Um, wisdom of the earth, and there was another company that's come out and. Um, 
I, I can't recall the name of it, but I have it at home, another company that's, but, but Wisdom of the Earth also has the protocols from Europe. In Europe, uh, ho um, homeopathy and aroma oils are much more commonly used and accepted as uh, traditional uh, healing, healing modalities. Mm -hmm. And so that they have protocols there that they use successfully with some of the major illnesses that we're trying to treat um, through. It's great to know. Yes, harsher ways. <laughs> all right. So um, these are all wonderful mm -hmm. things. Um, when somebody comes to you, mm -hmm and uh, they have an issue. Yes. Uh, you have a bag of tools. Yes. 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 So you're not just saying, this is the thing that works, this is the thing that works. No. You kind of interview them or? Oh, absolutely. And uh, one of the things with Donna Eden's program that I'm really proud to say, um, her husband, uh, David Feinstein, is an internationally known um, psychologist, very well respected, um, has uh, quite diligently trained us in ethics. We've had to go through many trainings with David on ethical behavior. Now, if some, I am not trained as a clinician. I cannot diagnose, okay, someone, if you come to me and say, tell me if I have cancer or not, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Right. But if someone comes to me and they're having a uh, psychological uh, situation, I'm also not a trained counselor. So I will ask them, do you have a support group? Do you have a trained, you know, counselor that you're working with? Because I will work with you on an energetic level, mm. okay, on how to self-empower. But I cannot, in in good mind, uh, you know, do type this type of therapy with you. So I like to have a network of other practitioners in my pocket, so that when someone comes to me and I feel it's not my specialty, my expertise, that I'll say I'll work with you on an energetic level, but please this is a person that may be able to help you. So I think so of myself as a resource. So your expertise, besides being a resource, mm -hmm. your expertise mm -hmm. is, do you work, uh, is energy work? Yes, Reiki. Uh, Reiki. Tai Chi. Tai and Chi. And Qigong. And Qigong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Thank you. And you give classes? I give classes. Um, I also, if people want to learn Reiki for themselves, because it's really great as a healing modality for themselves, as well as working for f with others, um, I teach Reiki also, so you can be Reiki attuned through me. And also, uh, the energy medicine, I can both uh, teach you in a class-like setting or we can have a one-on-one -on -one session, a private session. You're fully clothed, you're on a massage table, and I can either lightly place my hands on your body or above your body and work with your right. energetic field. And then I give you homework. So we have one minute left. Yes. What is it you want us to know? I, I would love to just teach you the hookup really quickly because okay. that helps with dizziness and potentially could help with a, a seizure and it's a great tool, especially if you have memory uh, challenges oh. and you right on the tip of your tongue, you can't think of that name, okay? You know, it's okay. going to sound what's, a little funny. What's the tool? The hookup is take any, any finger, it doesn't matter which hand, you're going to find your belly button mm -hmm. and then you're going to put the other finger between your eyebrows mm -hmm. and you're actually going to push in and up on both points and you're going to breathe three times and this will help with dizziness. I use it for memory loss. Wow. Donna has said it's helped people will who it, are having will seizures. It resurrect your energy, I mean your memory, or does it help in the moment? It helps in the moment. Um, usually within a minute or two of doing it, it bubbles up. Because I think of my mind almost like a computer. It's back there, stored there. I know it's right so on the tip of my tongue. The right, point. right. Siobhan, mm -hmm. we are at the end of our okay. time. Okay, thank I'm you so, so much. Happy you came. Okay, it's wonderful. So informative and so useful, and I invite people to contact you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Natasha Sherman. Thank you for joining us.